The future of the Cubs rotation looks really promising. Keegan Beals struck him out at a good pitch. You know, people are always asking me, when are the Cubs going to be good again? And I tell them, back in 2015 when they got good, they had a great rotation. In 2020, when David Ross won the division, they had a great rotation. Uh, the next Chicago Cub rotation, in my opinion, is going to start right here. We got Justin Steele, we got Keegan Thompson. You're two of my favorites. I mean, you have been from the very beginning. I saw you in the minor leagues. I saw everything that went on to you to get to where you're at. Yesterday, because of our friendship, I had the opportunity to watch both of you throw a bullpen down here. Uh, Justin, if you don't mind, I'm going to start with you. First of all, um, how did it go? Most importantly, how, how do you feel today? Uh, went well, feeling good today. Um, just working on some things, honing in on the pitches, making sure to finish the year strong. A lot of the catchers even talk about your fastball being unique and how it does different things. They said, we know it doesn't rise, but it seems like it yeah. rises. It has, it has different movement. If you would, could you show us the grip that you use on yeah, that? Yeah, so my traditional like four seam grip is right there, straight up, just pull straight down. And I get the cutting action on it because when I come through and release the ball, I'm kind of on the side of it. And it's just kind of going into the righty the entire time. Put that up one more time. I want yeah. to show people this. They can see the pressure that's over here yeah. that might even help create that. Exactly. Where you, don't, you know, one thing I, I, I learned a long time ago that my fingers were, were, were like a ship on the ocean. With a baseball being the body of water, what makes a ship move? You guys yep. both know it's the rudder that's underneath there. So if that rudder gets in the way, it's going to eliminate. But if you move that rudder around, that's why you can throw that cut fastball from there to there, right? You, you both looked out Santa yesterday. You look, you, look, you look like you could have went out there and, and won a ball game. How did you feel yesterday and how do you feel today? I think it was the best I've felt in a long time. Uh, we've been working on you know, mechanic-wise, and getting in the sink and rhythm on my feet and body and arms and everything. Um, been working hard with that. And so yesterday was one of the first days that I felt like I was in rhythm and, with my body. And it kind of it was a, probably the best bullpen I've thrown in the past month. Your grandpa might remember, your dad might remember, but back in the 80s, I got voted the best slider in all of baseball by Sports Illustrated. Damn. The slider I saw you throwing yesterday was better than anything I ever threw. <laughs> Tell it, I. I I know the fastball, curveball, cutter, chain. Um, where did this slider come from? And, and if you could just kind of demonstrate, like Justin did, uh, what your thought is on it. So we wanted something, like I've had the curveball that's going down and the cutter that's going away from the righty, but we wanted something that had that's kind of in between the curveball and cutter, um, like the in between speed, had more of a depth and sweep action yeah. than just the curveball. Um, so I was working with Moscos uh, and Tommy and CY. And we were working on this one seam, or kind of like, yeah, the one seam slider grip. Right. The guys are trying to throw now to try to get that sweep. And you're supposed to throw it across the train tracks right there and kind of pull down like a curveball. So the, the, the shape on your curveball is that. Yeah. Your cutter is that. The slider is. It's going to be more of like a little bit of a sweep and uh, Something sweep in between and those yeah. two and all of that. Is it more easier like to command shape. than a curveball? Or the cutter? Or? I would say right now it's easier to command the curve on cutter than the slider. I mean, I have trouble with that command a little bit, but it's getting there. That's just another weapon, right? Yeah, another weapon to work, to work on towards next year. And Keegan Thompson, the way he went out there and dealt last night, five and two third, eight punch outs and zero earned runs. He really looked locked in from the very top. You had a start in LA and it was pretty good. And I ran into Gomi in the hotel the next morning and I asked him, I said, what'd you see last night? He, go, I, he, he said, I saw a true number one. I said, what? This is a guy that caught Max Scherzer, he caught Corey Kluber. He knows what a number one looks like. I mean, that, that had to take your confidence through the roof. I mean, it's a huge compliment. Um, it's great to know that he has that kind of trust and confidence in me and kind of gives me the belief in myself to go out and kind of throw to that. Makes you believe in your stuff Makes a little you bit more. Yeah. I remember one time Way Bob more. Boone in an All-Star game told me, he said, Nobody has better stuff in it. I mean, like, whoa, really? Yeah. I mean, a lot of times you, you probably didn't even know that at the time. It might not be true, but it's nice to hear somebody say that. No, I don't, it, I, it, to boost your confidence up a little bit when you're out there. I don't think Jan Gomes <laughs> is going to lie. Um, you started out in a rotation. Um, everything was fine until right at the end of May. And then all of a sudden, something really clicked. What was it? Uh, I guess it was about around the time uh, my son was born, I guess you could say. Uh, Bo, yeah. Got, yeah, my son Bo could have been a good luck charm, but. 
I think uh, early in the season, you know, I was putting the work in to make and making the proper adjustments from start to start, making sure I was taking something from each and every start, whether it was good or bad, and learning from it. And um, I think I just really honed in on what I did well, and I uh, was throwing the four seam and the slider off of one another and complimenting with other pitches as I need. You saw his numbers in August, right? Oh, yeah. He had five starts. Best in baseball, right? Yeah. ERA one, was I, under one. That's not one, the top you, two. You know how many times he won? Probably none. None. He had zero wins. But one thing that we've luck. always talked about, it's and for a lot luck. of people to learn from, as a starting pitcher, we, we don't ever control the outcome. Uh -huh. They got to play defense. They got, there's a lot of things that have to happen. But we always control the effort. Absolutely. The effort has been outstanding from both of you guys this year. I can't wait for 2023. And these are the top two reasons right here.